Hey guys, Jordan Damon here. We're going to uh, replace a charge latch actu actuator. Uh, that's this little pin back here that uh, comes and locks your charger in place. And you guys, if you guys are really curious, the part number to this is one one four nine two three zero two dash ten dash B. So with this uh, actuator, these usually go bad because of water. So we're going to go ahead and take a T20 Torx driver, undo, undo the uh, the two screws that hold this in, there's a top plate to it. Alright, so here's the uh, latch actuator right here. I'm going to pop the lower section off. All right, so here's the uh, the latch right here, and this is where the uh, the pin hooks up. So we're going to grease all of these components, as well as uh, apply some uh, corrosion X around the edges of uh, where uh, water can get in on this uh, component. So the uh, first thing we're going to do is we're going to take some corrosion X heavy duty. It's going to be the green bottle and we're going to work it in around the edge where water can get in around the, uh, the actuator itself where the actual movement takes place. This stuff is extremely thick, does not rinse off very easily at all with water. It's also completely safe for electronics. So really the more, the better almost in this application. You're not going to really apply too much. So nothing is going to hurt this. After now, what we're going to do is we're going to take a little bit of this red and tacky grease. And we're going to add more grease to inside here to allow this to uh, slide more easily. And for the O-ring right here. We're going to add a little bit of this grease right here. I will smear this around the o-ring. All right, now we're going to start assembling everything back together. So this right here is going to go in with the pin side up, just like so. That pin up and now we will along one more thing that you want to do is put more synthetic grease around the gasket of the housing of the linear actuator on the actuator The actuator is going to go in just like this, and you'll want to look at the pin and approximately get that lined up with the groove that it slides in. Then we're going to carefully put this back together. Um, the uh, Corrosion X High Duty is Heavy really duty. meant for electronics and connectors, so. This is another easy access point for water to get into, which is another reason why uh, Jordan is brushing some uh, Crojan X in there. All right, now we're going to put the two T20 bolts back in. So there's two latches underneath the seat that you have to unlatch and then unplug. They are right here on both ends. And then Jordan over there is going to pop up the foam cover and then they'll uh, push on this pin, push down, and this will disconnect. You'll have the contactor just disconnected. So now the high voltage is disconnected. 
All right, and then the second part of this is we're gonna just kind of quickly pull this out and then you just gotta pull one side of, yeah, that's the negative side. So we're gonna unplug that and then we could start working on the uh, charge board. Now we're safe to start working. There's a clip there that needs to be unplugged or taken apart. And then there's another one right there before you can move the lining out. So, so we just took this orange cover off so we could get to the bolts. And just so you guys know, if you have the Tesla service manual, all this is outlined online as well as you are able to buy any sort of parts for your own vehicle. So if you own a Model 3, you're able to buy uh, all the parts you need to fix up your car, but there are certain parts that only Tesla can uh, replace and fix because of liability. So something as simple as this charge port, there's not much liability here, so we should be able to fix this ourselves. So here are the two assembly mounts. This is the old version and here's the new. Uh, so just looking at the other actuator you could tell that there's uh, quite a bit of water residue along the edge here as well as the bottom side which is another good reason to uh, put any sort of grease on the gasket as well as the interior part of this so that there's less likelihood of this uh, going bad. And it, as you could tell, we did put the uh, red and tacky grease here because that's what we thought the problem was, but we might have been too late by, by then. It just started to get worse. So I had to replace the entire unit. Just so you guys know, all that right there is salt coming from the charge port. I do live in Chicago and that could also be an issue. So a quick fix is we pretty much coated the outer edges and the inside of this Model 3 with Corrosion X so that there's no salt. So I pretty much coated the inside as best as I could with Corrosion X. Just to show you guys how much of nerds we are, we used ultra performance grease for the outer edge of the charge port that will be sliding into this um, assembly here to uh, reduce the amount of water coming in. All right, we'll start uh, by putting the charge port into the uh, the housing. All right, so we've uh, we've learned that this. Uh, housing right here is different. You can't use this new housing for the uh, charge latch actuator unless you have the updated assembly right here. So we're going to just swap the actuator over to uh, the existing housing. So we just put the old assembly back there and uh, now we're just going to bolt it back on. And there's three bolts. Bottom left, bottom right and top right. Tap it. Oh. Check the wires, perfect. And that's, uh, that's complete from there. All right, so you're gonna to wanna to have this arm off. Put that in last. Hook up your your uh, 12 volts, your high voltage first, then your 12 volts. Um, then go over and start 
charging the car. Don't have this release hooked up until the end. Um, go and plug in your charge cable and uh, start charging. Then position your uh, your arm at this angle. Uh, this is going to allow it. So if there's an issue, you can still you can pull and unlatch your charger, and this doesn't start bottoming out and uh, going. T -t 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 -t. And so that's centered correctly. So that's all you have to do to uh, make sure that uh, that you have everything aligned correctly. And then the last few things is you put the lining back on, pop in the plastic on the back side of the bumper, and then put the uh, upper piece back on with the clips on either side. Don't forget to uh, plug the high voltage plug in back, clip your seat back into the car, and then your 12 volt up front. And just to verify everything is good, it opens up, the latch comes down, and I'm able to plug in. It starts charging. Now just to verify it unlatches. So we're all set.